Your past does not define your future. Have you ever wondered if your past is keeping you from living up to your full potential? Do you feel like your history defines you? Many of us live through tough times and think that we won't be able to move on from them. We feel trapped by what has happened to us. The good news is that your past does not define your future. At least it doesn't have to. But if you've ever felt like it has, then welcome to the club. We've all lived through negative experiences of some kind. It's a part of being human. In this video, we're going to discuss why many of us carry around the weight of our history and how we can let go of it. Only with a better understanding of ourselves can we leave the past behind for a better future. Why negative memories stick around. Have you ever had an embarrassing moment in front of a group of people? Maybe you told a joke that didn't land. Maybe you said something silly or stumbled over your words. When you think back on that moment, do you still feel embarrassed? If it happened back then, why does it bother you now? The reason we can easily recall bad experiences is due to the subconscious mind. Whenever something emotional happens to you, the subconscious is making note and stores it as a memory. This memory holds that emotion in place for when you might need it again. This makes sense for happy memories, but why would anyone want to hold on to something like sadness or fear? Well, as humans, we are drawn to the painful memories and experiences. These are the ones we obsess about while lying in bed at night. They keep coming back to haunt us, the kind that will show up again in our future. It may not sound like it, but your subconscious is trying to help you. It's not always comfortable for us, but these emotional memories serve a purpose. They act as a warning. Whenever you're in a situation where you might feel that pain again, your subconscious will recall that emotion to warn you of the danger. Many times, that means you will feel whatever emotional pain your subconscious is trying to warn you about. Nobody ever said the subconscious has adapted well to life in a modern society. But as strange as it might sound, negative memories are there to protect you. The irony is that they often go above and beyond this purpose and end up holding you back. Have you ever met anyone that gets tongue-tied when talking to a potential date? Perhaps you know that person intimately? If you've ever experienced this, you know how the fear of embarrassment can live on for years. The next time you even think about asking someone out on a date, you feel anxious and embarrassed. You don't want to risk it. Again, your mind is trying to protect you, but it isn't always what's best for you. The more you recognize where these emotions are coming from, the more you can change them. Awareness is a huge part of growth. The lessons we learn during childhood also play a part in how we behave as adults. We usually don't even know we're learning them. What we see around us affects who we become. Say someone grew up in a poor household. Seeing their parents argue over how to pay the bills might develop into a subconscious belief system. For a lot of people, money is something scarce, something to be worried about. Often this mindset develops very early in childhood, simply from watching their parents' relationship to money. These lessons from the past become belief systems of the future. This is why many of us worry that our past is going to equal our future, that we will never be able to change things for the better. Well, we have some good news. Your past doesn't define you. Your past isn't even set in stone, and neither is your future. You can always change course. You might be thinking, I'll never be able to change course. What's done is done. Well, while you'll always have the same memories, how you remember them and what you can learn from them is always up to you. It's all a matter of perspective. Suffer your past or learn from it. Life is ultimately a matter of perspective. Two people can witness the exact same event and view it in completely different ways. Ask yourself whether you've lived a good life so far or a bad one. It might seem that the answer is set in stone, but it is a choice, and that choice is ultimately up to you. There are many memories that will come back to haunt us, but we still choose how we view our past. When a person changes how they see their past, over time those painful memories can feel entirely differently to them. It's always possible to change your relationship with the past and leave it behind you. Consider two people. Let's call them Jack and Jill. Jack sees himself as a failure who has never been able to overcome his problems. 
When he remembers embarrassing or painful memories, they become evidence of why he will never succeed in life. He's a victim of the world around him. Jill sees things differently. She has lived through painful times too, but she doesn't see it as a bad thing. These memories are evidence of how much persistence and strength she has. The painful memories are lessons to be learned so she doesn't have to experience them ever again. In fact, those memories don't feel that painful anymore due to how she thinks about them. There is always a perspective on everything we experience. The positives don't always come easily, but there is power to be gained in changing how we view the past so that it serves us. The wisest people learn from their mistakes. They take their painful experiences and use them to make something better. It's never too late. The first step to changing your future is to change what the past means to you. The more you challenge your old memories and beliefs, the more you'll rewrite them. Over time, your life will change for the better. You'll be able to leave the past behind. Or even better, you'll be able to love your past for what it gave you. Every day is a new day. You've probably heard the saying, today is a new day. It's cliche, but it's cliche for a good reason. It's completely true. The most successful people learn to view each day as a fresh slate. As soon as they're out of bed, they've left behind any negative thoughts that might slow them down. If they failed yesterday, that doesn't mean they'll fail today. They use their failures as lessons towards success. They rewrite their story each and every day. That's not to say it's always easy though. If you went to bed the previous night carrying the stress of unpaid bills, then you're likely to wake up with that same stress. However, the way you approach that same problem is up to you. Each day gives you an opportunity to rewrite your story. Imagine a toddler that's trying to take their first steps. Imagine they've spent an entire day trying to stand up and at the end of the day haven't managed to stand up even once. Would you assume this means that they're never going to walk? They've tried and failed, right? What's the point of trying again? We all know from experience that, in almost all cases, the toddler is going to try again tomorrow. They'll try again the next day and so on until they're standing up with ease. For the toddler, every day is a new day. Consider how you might apply this to your own life. Think about what past mistakes you might want to leave behind you. The more you become aware of the mental baggage you've been carrying around, the more you can learn from it and let it go. Come up with a strategy for the morning to get yourself into a sound mental place. Some people prefer to meditate. Others have a ritual involving a good cup of coffee. The more effort you put into challenging your previous associations with your past, the easier it will be to act differently. It's going to take time. You're going to forget and fall into old habits. This is why every day is a new opportunity. It's your chance to start over and point the compass north towards a better life. Your past can be your fire. Some of you might be thinking that it's already too late. You've grown up in less than ideal circumstances and there's no getting better from here. You're stuck. It's never going to change. But as hard as it might seem, there is always a way forward. If you're struggling to change how you feel about your past, then try something different. Use your past as fuel. Find the reason why you want to rewrite your story and change your life for good. Turn those experiences into a fire that will drive you to greater heights. The people who experience the most pain tend to search the hardest for answers to a brighter future. There are endless examples of successful people who came from disadvantaged backgrounds and against all odds changed their lives for the better. The more comfortable you are, the less determined you will be. The less satisfied you are, the more you will reach for a better life. If you've had a rough childhood, it can be your fuel that pushes you forward. Your past prepared you to become your best self. This relates back to perspective. If you can't rewrite your past mistakes to be a positive, then let it be an example of something you'll never live through again. Make it work for you. The lesson in all of this is clear. Your past doesn't determine your future unless you let it. You're the only one who can decide what to do with your time and talents. Make the choice to improve your life. Rewrite your past so that it doesn't hold you back. If you can't do that, then use it as motivation. And if you don't know where to start, then know that simply by starting somewhere, you've already set some powerful changes in motion. It isn't what you did yesterday that defines your future, but the choices you make today. 
Be sure to comment below on the ways your past has held you back in life and how you managed to get through it. You never know how your story might help others move on as well. Looking for more? Check out our other videos that will help you build the life you want and achieve that dream. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.